So this video is not going to be about photography. I'm just putting it out there. I don't want to waste anybody's time. This video is more about what's been going on with me and my personal life with some photography stuff sprinkled in there because the past well, more than a month has been pretty much hell. Um, as you can see, I have a new setup and uh, it's not that I have more room in my more space in my room. It's just that I actually had to change apartment and uh, not by choice, but actually it was the right choice. Um, it's actually rainy season in Korea, which is supposed to be like the busiest time of the year for me. But unfortunately, uh, it's just been too much rain. I know it's funny me complaining about that since I mainly focus on rain photography. But uh, there's been a lot of flooding all over Korea and I live in Seoul and I didn't think that kind of problem would happen to me. But if there's one thing I learned is that you should not live on the first floor or the basement, even though I've always kind of known that. But in my case, my apartment was starting to flood from the bottom. Yeah, it's like kind of the water was coming from the floor, not coming from outside because the outside wasn't flooded. It was, just, it was just coming somehow from under the apartment, if that even makes sense. And um, at first it didn't bother me, but the water started getting more and more. To the point that basically I had to wake up every morning and um, get these kind of towels and kind of put them all over the ground. And then when they soaked up, I would squeeze the water out and I would do that again at night. So every morning and night I would um, wake up. It took like an hour each time, you know, wake up one hour early, bring out the towels, squeeze out the water, put them back, do the same thing in the evening before sleeping. and. On and on. This went on for like two weeks. Actually, it went on for like a month. But after two weeks, I got pretty tired, you know. So I uh, decided it was time to move. Time to find a new apartment. And uh, yeah, that's how I ended up with this place. I mean, I'm paying a little bit more every month. But I'm on a roof, which is uh, what I much preferred. I get my own room. I mean, it's not that much bigger. Korean apartments aren't that big. But this one is reasonably bigger like i have my own room to make videos and that's pretty much all that i really care for like the rest of the apartment i don't care but i have this creative space for myself you know uh, but getting here wasn't easy because um if you don't know it's kind of expensive to move in korea so i, I really want to say thank you to the people who gave me some donations like i didn't ask anyone but I'm really thankful for the people who helped me because it's been really hard, you know. Um, not only with things being destroyed by the flood, by the flooding, uh, food, uh, real estate fees, because here you got to go to this place called Burongsan and you got to pay them to help you find an apartment. Like, it's not like the States where you just move, you see in the newspaper someone's apartment and you just offer them the money. Here, like, you actually got to pay someone to be like an intermediary. And then you got to give them like a gift of money. It's a whole bunch of BS. Like, uh, I don't know. I think Japan is kind of similar. Like when you renew a contract, you got to give them like three months rent gift. Thank you for letting us live here again kind of thing. It's kind of a lot of BS, you know. And uh, for, we don't have to do that every year where I used to live. But when you do move in, you kind of do sometimes do like a little gift. You know, aside from the deposit, um, if you don't know, you have to pay a deposit when you move into Korea. It's something, depending on your apartment, like if you get like a one room, it's like a five grand deposit. The one I was living on before is 10 grand. This one is like 20 grand. So like I basically spend most of my life saving money to slowly move up the ladder, even though I'm still paying higher rent. But it's worth it, I guess. Like if it helps me make more videos because... If I have this space set up, I don't have to do this every time I make a video. It's just good to go. I can just make videos right away like that, like on a snap. So that makes me pretty happy. Um, but anyways, when you move in Korea, most people pay a moving company and it's like at least a grand, two grand to move your stuff. And I didn't want to do that because you know, I'm poor. So I spent around three or four days um, moving the stuff manually. Uh, I don't live that far from my old place, like one block away, but 
it's like the middle of somewhere in Korea. It's like the humidity is like 96%. Just one trip down the road and you're like soaked in sweat. So I spent pretty much the whole time carrying all these things one block away, up a hill, then up the stairs to the top, to the roof. And it was hell, you know, it was really, really, really awful. But, you know, I don't have a grant to be throwing around, you know, it's, I wasn't even planning on moving this year. It's just, I had to do it. I just kind of had to, like, there was no other way. It's like, I didn't want to spend another day in that moldy infested apartment of mine. Actually, you know, what's funny is there was a lot of mold in my old apartment and it's been like that for years. And, you know, Korean, Korea doesn't have the same standards as America. You know, like in America, you can't live in an apartment where that's all moldy. It's like some sort of health hazard. And it is a health hazard. It wreaks havoc on your lungs. But in Korea, they just, whenever you have like a mold problem, they don't even fix it. They just like, okay, let's just put some wallpaper over it. And they keep doing that over and over again. Like the, the landlords don't really care. And there's no one you can complain to. Like, it's not like the States where you can go to like some office and like the regulators make them fix it or else they shut them down. Here it's just like, okay, you don't like it, you can move out and the next person comes and they got to deal with the same problem and they move out and the landlord just keeps getting the money, you know, uh, never fixing the problem. It's one of the bad things about Korea, you know, but yeah, uh, basically my old apartment has been having mold problems for every, as long as I've been there. And uh, for the longest time, I never really know where the mold was coming from because it always smelled kind of funky and it was always kind of humid. And it wasn't until this rainy season because it rained so much that the floor is the water started coming from out of the floor that I realized that the water is coming from out of under the floor. You know, it wasn't in the walls, even though it, the mold started growing on the walls. It was the problem was coming from under the floor. But uh, yeah, if you ever move to Asia, don't live in the basement, don't live on the first floor, you know, it's just, there's always going to be some kind of problem. But anyways, we have this new apartment. I don't know if you can see the setup very well. Uh, you can't see it so well with the light turned on, but it looks great without the light. But um, basically, I am really happy now after two weeks of just changing the... Uh, the towels on the ground and squeezing the water out morning and night and then after a while i just kind of gave up and said screw it and i just threw a bunch of uh, cardboard over it hoping it would soak it up and i just made it worse and uh yeah and i have this apartment now another week of hell just carrying everything up a hill up up yeah up a hill one block away and up the stairs to be here but uh that's basically what's been going on with me and it took another week to get the internet because there was like some, I don't know, some kind of problem. And then there was like a holiday here in Korea and then the weekend. So I just had to wait a long time before I could make this video. But it's finally, it's finally done. I can get back to creating, which is what I wanted. And uh, I'm not going to call this video like tour of my studio because, you know, that's one of those things I don't like. A lot of people here on YouTube just call their place a studio. It's, it's not a studio. It's just like apartment with a little bit of extra space. You know what I mean? Studio is just like a fancy photographer talk. Like, hey, check out my studio. It's just my room with some lighting. That's that's all it is. Nothing fancy. I'm still poor like the rest of you. Uh, but yeah, I'm just happy to have some dedicated space to make content now. Because it's really important for me uh saving all the time setting up the camera setting up the light setting up the microphone all that stuff takes a long time and it's a real hassle so it stops me from making videos but now that i have everything here ready to go i just gotta flip the switch turn on some lights and voila you know uh we're ready but yeah i hope you will enjoy the upcoming contents i hope you like the view from my new apartment it's quite cool um, it's great on a not so polluted day, I must say. And yeah, I got some, some gear I ordered, you know, I'm not really a gear channel, but I like talking about vintage lenses. And this is one lens I wanted for a long time. And I was so stressed that I needed a lens, you know, you know, that feeling like buying stuff makes you feel happy. But anyways, we got that coming up. Uh, it should be arriving Monday, but I, I need to use it for a while. 
And you know what, the, th the thing about me and the videos I make about like lenses and stuff is not that these lenses are like the best of the best. It's just, I just, I like them because I like collecting things. You know, I like collecting old lenses and with characteristics, you know, like special character that you don't get in these new modern lenses. So yeah, hope you like the room and the lighting and uh, catch around.